<laughs> Teddy <laughs> Higuera. <always> hope. <laughs> right, I guess there is. Teddy Higuera. And it means right now you have two Mexican-born left-handers pitching in the All-Star game. Balance three and two the count. Nobody out. Bottom of the fourth, and a breaking pitch is over. Strike three. And so the National League has sent ten men to the plate with nary a base runner. It wound up 1-0, the only 1-0 game in history, All-Star history, as Sandberg hits a fly ball to shallow left, and Ricky Henderson takes charge. Henderson used to playing center, but knows what it's like to play left, because that's A with Murphy in center for so many years. Won the gold glove back in 1981, and certainly from the American League pitching standpoint, a typical Astrodome encounter, and this will make four perfect innings as Bucket takes care of Hernandez. At the end of four quick ones, the Americans lead two with another strike. All you have is Babe Ruth, and then you had, it was, they thought it was that great a thing. Well, Higuera's made a little history, thanks to Valenzuela. Look at Carter grounds it to third, where Boggs picks it up, and that's 13 up and 13 down for the National League. And it's shades of nine miles per hour. Jim, we were talking about it between innings. He throws like Valenzuela. Maybe a little harder. He is very, very impressive. First time I've ever seen him pitch for this spring. High fly ball to center. And an easy play for Kirby Bucket. Strawberry's tagging but not going anywhere. And there are two down. So Darrell is still a second, and Mike Schmidt is at first, and with two of them. Pitching a lot of All-Star games is that if you can throw strikes, and Aguirre has done it. Brooks hits it off the hands, down to second, and Whitaker throws to Mattingly to retire the side. So the Nationals' first rally is squelched. It's still 2-0 going to the dealer for not only the amount of bases, but percentage, which is the most important thing. To straightaway center field, and Kirby Puckett is right there, tapping his glove, one away. It's five put out. And then Lou Whitaker, with first base open, the number eight hitter. Hit one into the seats in right field. And when asked to explain why the National League always wins, or at least 21 out of 23 times. As Gwynn grounds to Mattingly for the out. He's just talked basically in a pretty good collective slump in the month of July, and it's continued tonight. 192 miles an hour. With that, too. <laughs> Sandberg gone. So is the National League. And at the end of six, it's still 2-0 America.